Hello folks and welcome to our screencast. In this video I'm going to show you how to get iOS 4 for your iPhone or iPod Touch. Um, it's due for release on the 21st I believe of June but if you can't wait that long, I know it's only a week away, but if you're a bit eager to try the new update out on your current iPhone, if it be 3G or 3GS or iPod third generation and second generation I believe, then this is probably the easiest way of doing it without actually being a developer. So I'm going to quickly show you a screencast, basically where to get all the information from and how to do it. So let's get on with it. So all you need to do is go to the Gumball Tech website and what I'll do is leave the link in the description below this video, direct you directly to this page so you don't have to go searching or anything. So once you're at this page, all you need to do is scroll down a bit and you'll find a how to install section which is a paragraph just quickly telling you how to install iOS, oh, iOS 4 onto your iPhone or iPod. And if you carry on scrolling down, basically all you do is you go to this iTunes 9.2 beta and you download it from one of the links here. Once you're downloading that, you also want to download, download the iOS 4 software for your iPhone or iPod Touch. So you've got the 3GS version, you've got the 3G version, you've got the iPod Touch 3G, uh, third generation version and the iPod Touch second generation. So you choose which one you need. And for example, I need the 3G version for my iPhone 3G, and just download it from one of these links. Once you've got that downloaded, then you need to install iTunes, the new version of iTunes you've just downloaded. You need to install that onto your computer. Once you've done that, I'll show you the next step. So once you've downloaded the iTunes software and installed it onto your Mac, also making sure you've downloaded the new firmware update iOS 4.0 for either your iPod or your iPhone. I've brought mine to my um, desktop, the file. You'll find yours in your download folder. Then you want to open up your new iTunes that you've just installed. You want to go over to your devices, find your iPhone or the iPod you wish to update. We'll go over to summary, make sure you're on summary. Go down to restore, but instead of just clicking restore, you want to hold down Alt on your keyboard, then click on restore. And you get the option to restore your iPhone. By the way, you will be deleting everything on your iPhone here because you're doing a complete new reinstall. But you won't be just re restoring your iPhone. You'll be actually updating it to the latest firmware, which is obviously 4.0 with all the new features. But make sure you've got your iPhone all backed up through iTunes. So all your music, pictures, um, phone numbers and all that. Make sure you've got that all backed up because you will lose everything on your iPhone because you are doing a re reinstall. So click on the file, find your file, mine's in my desktop, yours might be in your downloads folder, so if it is, find it. So it's the iPhone restore file or iTunes, not iTunes, sorry, iPod restore file. Choose it, just click on restore. So my iPhone's in the middle of restoring now, but it won't be just restoring to its original settings, it will actually be updating to the 4.0 software. If you're on the iPhone 3G, you will not get all the features from 4.0, such as you won't get multitasking, unfortunately, but you will get things like folders, etc. You'll get a lot of the features in 4.0. If you've got the 3GS or one of the new iPods, then you will get all the features what 4.0 offers, which is just great for you. Um, as you know, the new update will be coming on the 21st. I think I mentioned that earlier in the video. but if you want it a week, a week and a half earlier, then obviously you know how to do it now. So yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If you do want to follow me on Twitter, you can do it. It's twitter.com app screencast, where I update the loads of um, tweets and that about the Mac, the iPad, the iPhone, etc. Also, if you want to see more of my videos, don't forget to check my channel, where I do loads of videos on the iPhone, the iPad, and obviously the Mac. So yeah, don't forget to subscribe, like, and I'll see you later. Thanks for watching, everyone. Goodbye.